Hello friends, welcome to Nankishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn an interesting trick division using dots. This is one question written on the board but we are going to do many questions today. This is one of the question from which we are going to start with. Okay, let us see the way it is very interesting and students will definitely are going to like it. We usually use this method in the schools in the classrooms to make the regular teaching interesting what we will do 132 is there for one i am going to write one dot check it very carefully for three i am going to place three dots and for two i am going to mark two dots i hope this is clear one three two becomes 132 we need to divide it by 12. 12 means 1 and 2. Combination of 1 and 2. So what I will do. I will start from here. 1 and 2 means I am taking 1 this dot. And taking 2 these dots. Joining them. It means I have formed 12. 1 and 2, 12. Right? This is the first step to be done. Now... From the first row I had started, first column I had started. Now in the second column, one dot is left. If one dot is left in the second column, again make 12. This is 1 and adding these two, 1 and 2, 12. I will do 2, 3 questions. You will definitely understand it also. 12 means 1 and 2 dots combination. Then I taken 1 dot and 2 dot, 12 is formed. All the dots are covered. All the dots covered means 132 is exactly divisible by 12. That means in this question, remainder is 0. That is what we need to think. Now question arises, sir, what is quotient? Okay. Let us see quotient. See, for quotient, I am going to tell you, this is my first diagram. Just one moment. This is my first diagram, right? Diagram number one. And this is my second diagram. Diagram number two. Two diagrams I have made. This is the first point we need to be clear. But how to analyze? Firstly, I analyze that, okay, I am having two diagrams. Now, let us learn how to write the quotient. See, from the first diagram, this is my first diagram and I started from the first dot, I am writing 1 for it. As of now, I am writing 1 for it. Now, in my second column, there was only one dot left, right? Listen very carefully. From my second column, how many diagrams I am making? I am making only one diagram that diagram is this one so write one more for it 11 so this quotient is 11 if you will try out you will get the same answer i am doing one more question you will get more idea how this quotient is selected let us try out one question where 156 is to be divided by 13 okay let us start making the dots 156 means 1 dot, 5 means 5 dots, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 dots. 6 means 6 dots. So, total 6 dots we have. Now, let us try to learn. I need to make 13. That means 1 and 3 dots combination. Look at this. 1 and 3 dots combination is done. Now I will start from the next dot. 1 and 3 dots combination is done. Still this dot is left. 1 and 3 combination is done. 13, 13 and 13 is formed. So what is the remainder here? Remainder will be 0. Point is what is quotient. Okay, let us try again. 
in my first column how many diagrams are started only one diagram right so one i am writing one for it from my second column how many diagrams are started i started first diagram from this point second diagram from this point that means two diagrams are done so i am going to write two for it in my third column no diagram is started it is just the ending only right so that means quotient is going to be 12 so for finding out quotient you need to check from the first column from the second column going on further how many shapes we are actually starting making it so one was started from first column two were starting from second column so quotient is 12 but this is not the end we are going to cover many questions so let us start next question now let us start this question read the statement now this question is different than other right it seems to be difficult but you will find it very easy and interesting as well let us start marking the dots according to the same rule we studied one one four three four two okay one one four right four dots three means three dots then again four then two dots fine i have made all the things dots are marked i need to make now 102 it's a three digit number do remember when we were doing question of 12 we were make uh, joining the dots one dot with two dots right when we were dividing by 13 we were joining first dot with the three dots now 102 combination means take one dot from here from the first column zero is coming zero means no dot to be taken from the next column then reach to the third column where again two is there so i am what i am doing i am doing this thing one one dot from the first column zero no dot from the next column two means two dots are cancelled from the third column 102 is formed now we need to start from the second column check very carefully one then zero from the next column no nothing to be done so zero i'm not cancelling any dot but going to the third column again making two see this is one zero two two dots from the next column is gone now it's the turn for third column to start the new diagram i'm starting from here one zero two one zero two means if one dot i am taking from this column no dot i am taking from the next one then going further i am taking two dots okay 102 is done but i need to take from here as well this is one zero two this is also gone you check very carefully i have not even touched this dot then again 102 move to the next column from this dot i am starting one and two in between i have not done anything so it was zero so 102 is formed all the dots are being utilized that means your remainder is zero now let us see how to calculate quotient okay from the first column how many diagrams are started only one see only one diagram is started from the second column again one diagram is started from the third column two diagrams are started from the fourth column only one diagram is being started and the next columns no diagram is started these are just the ending dots so your question should be double one two one this is the quotient in this question i had taken specially typical example so that you all must be clear that it's not like only two digit numbers can be divided we can go beyond that i'm going to take one more example let's have a look okay let's have a look at the question one three 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 four two to be divided by one two one let us start making the dots one means one dot 
then three dots thrice one two three one two three one two three then four dots one two three and four and at the end i'm taking two dots i hope this is clear what do we need to make 121 see our main aim is to cancel one dot from the first two dots from the second column and one dot from the third column design is your choice main point is cancelling only like i am cancelling one dot then two dots then one dot getting it t is being formed one two and one 121 is formed okay first column work is done now check in the second column is there any dot left behind yes one dot is there so this is one then two dots are taken then first dot is taken from the next row one two one so second 121 is formed now coming to the next wherever i find dot is vacant now check here this is one then two dots then one 121 is formed this dot is vacant one then two dots and then single dot all 121s are formed that means remainder is zero coming to the quotient let us try calculating the quotient now from the first one one diagram is started from the second column one diagram is started right from the third one is there any diagram started no from the third column only ending is there we are not starting that means no diagram is started i'm writing zero as of now from the fourth column this is the one diagram started and this is the next diagram started that means we are starting two diagrams that is why i am writing two over there that means after that see it is just the ending for the closing steps only up to this we need to go in between if any column is not used i am placing zero for that that means here quotient should be double one zero two right i hope this question is clear to all and if these questions are clear and you find these topics interesting frankly telling these type of things we do with the kids when they feel math is boring so they enjoy doing it you can try it at home with your kids and secondly if you think many of you might be thinking that sir all the cases of are of remainder zero i know that but remainders can also be found i can cover it in the next video but i want a good response on this video if you think this is helpful you want further videos on it please like it and share it also with others thank you so much